I'm not quite sure why people feel the need to walk out of their house half naked. Do you? I mean, we see on television, on that MTV, girls standing around a pool listening to music that is more along the lines of rhythmic profanity. How does this look in God's eyes? Some of you are probably thinking, what about Adam and Eve? Didn't they walk around half naked? Well, I'm sure they didn't walk around with leaves covering the genitalia. The human body is a beautiful thing. But because it is so, it should not be worn as just an old pair of sneakers. It's not that t-shirt you wear when painting your mother-in-law's garage. God made ourselves in his image. When is the last time anyone seen him? Moses is a good example. He saw God himself as a burning bush, putting himself behind something. We should follow this example rather than walking around as our spinning images of God cells. Let's all be burning bushes. Father, that was really one of the best sermons I've ever heard. Have you ever thought about writing a book? Well, thank you very much. I really wasn't quite sure of how it was going to go over with all the pop culture references here and there, but I figured maybe I can reach out to some of the younger members of our parish. What an excellent idea. Well, thank you very much. By the way, how is your mother doing? She's fine. Thank you, Father. Well, good. I'm glad. I uh, hope to see you next Sunday. And by the way, we're entering our Advent season in two weeks. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been about seven months, seven weeks, one week since my last confession. My sins are I got back at my boss, <coughs> hid the remote from my boyfriend because I didn't want him to change the channel. Nope. I don't exactly like the body that God has put me in. Good afternoon. Father, I would prefer to speak to you anonymously. That is fine. That is fine. Father, I've sinned. I, this is my first confession. Yesterday, in the park at the corner of Red and Maple, I abducted two children. I isolated them. And, and I killed them. Father. How could you do such a thing? I don't know. You are seeking forgiveness. And that is what matters to God and His Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Repeat after me. My God, I am sorry for my sins with all my heart. 
and choosing to do wrong. And God. I am God. I am heartily sorry for having offended thee. I detest my sins for the fear of the loss of heaven and the pains of hell. But most of all because they offend me, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve with the help of thy grace to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Amen. Amen. As we go about our days on this earth, we have to make daily choices. What kind of cereal we're going to have in the morning, whether we're going to let the kids stay up past our bedtimes, whether we should risk not putting that extra quarter into the parking meter, But there are other choices we make during the day that... Sounds a bit cliche, don't you think, Roland? That's Father, Father Roland. And how so? Do you really believe that people need to be reminded of all the bad things they do? That they're taking a chance with God for wishing for this or that? Or that um, some man, he's going to burn in hell because he has feelings for another man? Yes, I do. For every insignificant little thing. Do you realize what people tell me? People do little things here and there. But as you know, there are others that choose to do terrible, terrible things. Why? I'm not a psychologist, detective. We're just supposed to listen. Now, why exactly are you here? Um, the DeGrace family belongs to this church. They want to make funeral arrangements. Why are you talking to me? You say people tell you terrible things? This? It's beyond terrible. Yeah. Yeah, your ration about sums it up. Um, two kids. Boy, age nine, girl, six, both dead, asphyxiation. The team thinks they were lured into the basement of a house owned by an old man who wanted to play Chubby Bunny. Chubby Bunny? It's this game where you take marshmallows and shove as many in your mouth and still try to say Chubby Bunny. Now, the team has the man in custody. He says that he found them and even tried to revive them, but, uh, his prints are the only we have. I gotta get going. Anyway, the real reason that I came here today is that uh, I don't want there to be any questions about these poor kids. It would be really hard on the family and anybody else involved. I'll have the DeGrace family call you and schedule an appointment. 